Hi students, today we will be discussing the third lecture of uh, psychology course and that is observational learning or learning through observation. Observational learning is actually the learning in which we observe others, watch them and imitates or reproduce their actions. This is called observational learning. Here I am giving you some of the examples from our daily lives uh, through which you can understand the learning through observation well. Have you ever seen a child who imitates his parents' expressions? Have you ever imitated your boss on how he or she works in the office? Have you ever observed how a kid comes to know the usage of cell phone? Have you ever trained a pet at home? The answers to all of those questions lies in learning through observation. So what is learning through observation? Observational learning describes the process of learning through watching others, retaining the information and then replicating the behaviors that were observed. We have three or four things here. First one is watching others then we are going to retain the information in our mind and then we are going to replicate it. Replicate means imitating others or doing like them. So in simple terms we can say that replication of others behavior through observation and imitation is called observational learning. So what are the components of observational learning? The components of observational learning are Number one, attention. Why attention is needed? To learn anything, you need to pay attention. If your attention is diverted, you cannot learn it. Retention. To store information in your mind is called retention. What is reproduction? Reproduction is the uh, mimicking or imitating or reproducing of the behavior that you have learned from a model. This is called reproduction. What is motivation? Motivation is the tendency to take interest in things. Motivation is needed to mimic a behavior or else you, you will forget it. So, the most famous name in uh, the studies of observation learning is Albert Bandura. Albert Bandura was a professor at Stanford University. So the uh, observation learning was first discussed by Albert Bandura. He, was, he and other researchers have demonstrated that we are naturally inclined to engage in observational learning. Because since a child is uh, born, um, from, the, uh, from almost 20, 21 days of his life he starts observing others and mimics the expression of his parents and he starts learning new things with time okay here we are discussing the famous experiment of bandura which is called the famous boo boo doll experiment this was um, carried out by albert bandura in stanford university in 1961 um, it was an experiment on aggression and social learning. Um, it stated that children learn through the observation of others or their adults. For this study, he used 1 to 1.5 meter long plastic dolls called boo boo dolls. It was a groundbreaking study on aggression and social learning led by psychologist Albert Bandura that demonstrated that children are able to learn through the observation of adult behavior. Bandura carried out this experiment in 1961 at Stanford University where Bandura was a professor. For this study, he used 1 to 1.5 meter plastic dolls called Boo Boo Dolls and the participants of the study were preschoolers at Stanford's nursery school. So now I am presenting you the division of participants into three groups. Uh, in this experiment, the famous Boo Boo Doll 
experiment, uh, Benjura um, divided the children or the uh, participants into three separate groups. There were 24, uh, uh, 24 students in aggressive role model group, 24 in non-aggressive role model group, and 24 in control group with no model. The three groups were then divided by gender into six subgroups. Sub as you can see, there is a female model and a male, male model in both of the first two groups. And the female model and the male model groups are further divided into six boys and six girls, six boys and six girls. So in the famous Boo Boo doll experiment, there were almost three stages. In the stage one, what are we going to see? In the first stage of the experiment, the children were presented with diverting activities like stickers, pictures, prints, etc. Why were these diver diverting activities presented? These were presented to discourage the active participation of children in this experiment and to encourage only and only observation. In the aggressive behavior model, the model abused the doll both physically and verbally in front of the children so that they can observe him. In the non-aggressive behavior model, the model ignored the boo-boo doll and played with other toys. After 10 minutes, the behavior models left the room. Now comes the stage 2. The children were then taken individually into a different experimental room where they were presented with a new group of appealing toys. Appealing toys like trucks, bicycles, blocks, etc. To test the hypothesis of the children, what was the hypothesis? The hypothesis was that children uh, imitate the behavior of their adults when it comes to aggression. To test the hypothesis, the children were subjected to aggression, arousal in the form of being told that after two minutes, they could no longer play with the toys. Due to, due to this, the, the children were a bit aggressive. The children were then to told that they could, however, play with the toys in another room with various toys that were considered both aggressive and non-aggressive. Aggressive toys were, uh, for example, uh, they can give them a boo-boo doll and uh, some of the things which are used in uh, f uh, fighting. For example, um, they can give them a base baseball bat or anything uh, like that. Non-aggressive model, uh, sorry, non-aggressive uh, toys are, uh, for example, they, you can give them block or stuffed toys or um, any uh, anything that can be played uh, without aggression. Okay, here we are discussing the famous experiment of Bendura, which is called the famous Boo Boo doll experiment. This was um, carried out by Albert Bindura in Stanford University in 1961. Um, it was an experiment on aggression and social learning. Um, it stated that children learn through the observation of others or their adults.
uh, thank you for watching the video and sub subscribe for uh, subscribe to my channel for more informative videos thank you so much